Hi, my name's Daisy and today I'm going to be doing my bookshelf tour and a little tour of my room because it's finally finished and now you have green behind me instead of the purple. And it's pretty amazing seeing the transformation in my room and I'm really glad that I have all my books back on my bookshelf because it was sad seeing them dumped around the house. I'm going to show you all the books that I have. Uh, obviously some of them are on my Kindle and that's harder to do a shelf tour of. I don't know if those even exist. Hope you enjoy and yes, let me know what you think of my organisation. <laughs> Let's start with the awkward shelf, which is named the awkward shelf because it's all awkward sized books that don't fit together with a paperback. This is fine. This I can deal with because they're all out of order. I can't deal with one just slightly out of order. It irritates me. So we have Joanna Trollope, Sense and Sensibility, The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, Payback by Kimberly Chambers, and that comes out next year. Then there's a little thing by Kathy Kelly, which is A Woman's Heart, Clockwork Princess, which broke me. Cassandra Clare signed that lovingly for me as well, so happy times. Then we have Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis is the Shadowhunters Codex. James Dashton is the Eye of Minds, which is signed as well. Uh, then we have Allegiant by Veronica Roth, this, this and this. Just tears, tears. I'm sure there's probably tears actually on the page, ironically. Uh, I'm really sad that I didn't get to meet Veronica Roth when she was in the UK. Boo. We have The Host by Stephanie Mayer, The Infernal Devices, Clockwork Angel, which is by Cassandra Clare, but it's, the art is done by... I don't know how to say that name. That is impossible for me to say. Then there's The Mortal Instrument, City of Bones, Shadowhunter's Guide, Susan E's Angel Fall, and The Fourth and Last Stars by John Green, which is signed as well. And happy times because it's just this this shelf does have happy times on it but terrible times too then i have my young adult shelf and ha ah, yes uh, there are more books this way but you can't see that just yet because the tripod does not go that far and my camera can't pan that far either so starting off let's move the little shadow hunter minion that i made um we have the mortal instruments city of bones yes this is the movie cover I couldn't get Jamie Campbell Bauer to sign it otherwise unless I bought the movie cover. Uh, not that that's really bad, but you know, it's out of sync. Uh, then we have City of Ashes, which is the second book in the Mortal Instruments, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, and I am missing City of Lost Souls because I haven't bought that yet, but I have it on my Kindle, so yes, I have read it. <laughs> it's just I haven't got the paperback copy of it. We have Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, which has a bookmark in it because I am reading that at the moment and I'm this far through. Then we have Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and Last Sacrifice. So that's the whole series at the moment, and obviously I will remove that once this video is done, and then I'll carry on reading it. But for the purpose of this, I left it in there, so you can see what it would look like if it was entirely full. Then we have Ceres Brennan's The Demon's Lexicon, which is the first book that is also signed. Then we have Unspoken by Sarah Louise Brennan and Untold, which is part of the Lindburn Legacy. Those are the first two books. Then let's move the card, which is from Sarah, who's a total teen fiction on her blog. I'll leave the link down below. Thank you, Sarah, for the very appropriate Twitter card. <laughs> I liked that. Uh, then I have Percy Jackson and The Lightning Thief by Rick Royden. And then you have Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And that's how far you can see for the moment. So I'm going to move you now. <laughs> this is the rest of the Young Adult Shelf. So I have Blood Red Road by Moira Young, Acid by Emma Pass, Under the Never Sky, and Through the Ever Night by Veronica Rossi, which their covers are really pretty on the spines. Then Unearthly and Hallowed by Cynthia Hand, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Oh, broke my heart. Etiquette and Espionage by Kale Carriger. Then we have the trilogy set of The Maze Runner, which is still on its telephone because I have not yet opened it, by James Dashner. And I haven't read it, clearly, because it's still in its, look, cellophane. I'm keeping it pretty until I read it. <laughs> then we have Cami Garcia's Unbreakable, and I'm not even sure The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is really young adult, but... It was the only book that really fitted right into this corner at the end because it's an awkward corner. Uh, so this is Douglas Adams' The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Volume 1. And then we have also 
Santa Claus up there. <laughs> then I have the third shelf that has my books on and this is the final shelf to show you today. So I'm going to remove the bird and this is the jar of happiness that had everything that kind of went really well in 2013 and then I open it on New Year's Eve and that's really exciting. So we have Poison Study, Magic Study, Fire Study by Maria Maria B. Schneider and then Lewis Carroll's Alice Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. I think I'm going to sneeze so I might have to stop the video for a second. Darren Shan Zombie, Lonely Werewolf Girl by Martin Miller. That's a sign book as well because I met him. He's really awesome by the way. Uh, we have The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stavata, Kim Harrison's Dead Witch Walking and Benjamin Tomes goes on about witch novels all the time so I thought I'd pick one up and try and read it. Uh, then we have The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd. And then we have The Thirteen Treasures by Michelle Harrison and My Family and Other Animals by Gerard Dull. And these are the awkward section. Um, and then from then on, then we kind of go into more adult things and then things that publishers have sent to me. While you can see, there is The Sea Change by Joanna Rossiter and Martina Coles, The Life, which I won from a giveaway uh, from Tesco. So I will hopefully read them one day, but they're not on the top of my list. From here to here are the adult books, and from here to here are the new adult books. I think that's a new adult book. And then there's the young adult books going that way, and then up this way. So we have The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Weisberger, The Gravity of Birds by Tracy Guzman, Another Way to Fall by Amanda Brooke, Game, Buzz and Bubble by Anders Della Mott. And then we have Rule by Jay Crownover, which that's not actually the final cover, I don't think. Uh, then we have Wait For You by Jalen, which I absolutely loved. The Edge of Never by J.A. Redmeski. I should be reading that next year, hopefully. <laughs> then we have Twin Maker by Sean Williams, who is awesome, and you will see a repeat of the book, because I have the final copy as well. Then we have Leela Sales, This Song Will Save Your Life. All Our Yesterdays by Kristen Terrell. After Eden by Helen Douglas, which I loved, and I've still got to film the review of that, because <laughs> I've written the review, but I haven't filmed it. Uh, then we have Resist by Sarah Crossan, we have Shipwrecked by Siobhan Kerham, did I see that right? Yes it is, it's just because it's distance away from me. That's that part, so now we'll go up and then this way and then you can see the rest of the books that I have. So up here we have Twin Maker by Sean Williams, this is the final cover and it's really striking. We have Stella by Helen Eve and that comes out on the 2nd of January, 13 by Tom Hoyle and that comes out on the 13th of February. Then I have my Kindle, which is one with a keyboard, but it doesn't, it's not sold anymore, I don't think. It's kind of an old one. <laughs> I'm but an old one now. Uh, then we have the Mortal Instruments City of Bones quote book, which is from like the movie. Then we have J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit, and I kind of want to buy a really nice copy of that because I saw one and it's really beautiful and it's bound really beautiful. And this one I found in a charity shop, and although while that isn't bad, I have the book, it is kind of so yellow look wow smart daisy look how yellow that is very yellow it's very old clearly when was this first this paperback edition from 1993 wow that was before i was even born <laughs> that's how that's how old this is it's more older than me then we have the q a book that my friend got me which is five year journal and you have to answer a question a day and obviously you answer the same question through the five years but obviously your answers will change and then we have a little tiny notebook that I write little notes in, a shadow hunter decoupage thing that I did, um, D candle because my initial, <laughs> that's basically it. For watching the bookshelf tour and I wanted to let you guys know that I am taking part in the booktubeathon and that's from the Friday, this Friday till Sunday so it's a three day event from the 20th to the 22nd and I'll be doing my TBR on Friday and telling you how the progress is going and then I'll probably do iPod videos for maybe the rest 
of the two days and then tell you what's going on with me and how well I'm doing or if I'm failing miserably. So thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing and happy reading. Bye bye and Merry Christmas!